Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Fuller High School. I'm Demetrius II. And I'm Clay Buchanan. Welcome to another day, Fuller High School, on a wonderful Wednesday. We have a lot of announcements for you today, so listen up, because this is the Lion Pride News. News. Good morning, Fuller High School. My name is George Austin, and here are today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Kennedy Ratliff, Haley Martin, and Dulce Rosales. Have a great day and a happy birthday. Good morning, Fuller High School. I'm Ariel Hall, and with me I have Juliana Battaglia and Morgan Lassiter, Farsi cheerleaders. What can you guys tell me about how long you've been on the cheer team? Um, I have personally been on the cheer team for four years. I did one year freshman year on JV, and then sophomore, junior, and now senior year on varsity. Yeah, um, I'm basically kind of in the same boat as Morgan. I've done cheer since freshman year and varsity cheer since sophomore year. So. All right. And what's your favorite part about being a cheerleader? My favorite part is the pep rallies. Um, I really enjoyed our blackout pep rally this year, and that seniors are definitely showing a lot more spirit. Yeah, and I also love Friday nights. It's awesome to see all the students and the fans getting hype at the games. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right. And Juliana, you're a captain this year, right? Yes. All right. What does a captain do? Um, a captain sends out reminders to all the girls and let them know that uh, we're here, like to talk to them about if they have any problems. Um, I know Linda Marcel is also the captain, so um, it's fun. It's a big responsibility, but it's fun. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> represented Foley High School at the Shrimp Festival singing for scholarships competition and won first place. She received scholarship money and Foley High School will also receive an award. Congratulations, Bree. The 81st Annual Department of Alabama American Legion Oratorical Contest will begin in January. High school students are eligible for college scholarships. Competition begins at a local level in advance to the state competition. For more information, see Ms. Kilzer in room 808. Homecoming dance tickets are on sale for $10 each until Friday the 27th, the day of the homecoming game. The dance will be held Saturday the 28th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the Foley High School gym. No tickets will be sold at the door. If you plan to take an outside date, you must have your guest approval form completed and turned in before you can purchase tickets. Guest approval forms will be available outside Ms. Houston's room, 404, Ms. Johnson's office on 900 Hallway. Please note that no shoes will be worn on the gym floor. Homecoming week is the 23rd through the 27th. These are the dress down days. Monday will be Decades Day where you can wear clothes from your favorite decade. Tuesday, Taurus Tuesday where you can dress like a Hawaiian or wear tacky clothes. Wednesday will be Winning Wednesday where you can wear your favorite team's jersey. 
Thursday, parent day where you can dress like a mom or dad. And then Friday, the spirit of Foley. Seniors will dress like superheroes, juniors like rock stars, sophomores like monsters, and freshmen as villains. FTA has new shirts for sale. Short sleeves are $15 and long sleeves are $20. All sizes are available. See Miss Kilzer in room 808 for these shirts. Are you interested in joining the Junior Optimist International or the Joy Club? There will be an informational meeting tomorrow at 315 in room 505. The ROCC will be hosting the Veterans Day program in the gym on Thursday morning, November 9th. Please invite neighbors, family, and friends who are veterans. Breakfast for Veterans will be served at 7 a.m. The program will begin immediately afterward. Major General James Darden, U.S. Army retired, will be the guest speaker. The Leo Club has a meeting tomorrow at 310 in room 911. It's time for Foley Follies and Dessert Theater, which is an interesting assortment of singing, dancing, and acting, which includes a performance of the one act called The Nine Worst Breakups of All Time, written by Ian McWethy and directed by Ariel Hall. The performance will be held at the Foley Civic Center on October 22nd. Doors will open at 1.30 p.m. and the performance will start at 2 p.m. Admission is only $5. All donations go to Jane M. Lindsley Scholarship for Theater Excellence. All Peer Helper Club members need to stop by Miss Champion or Miss Cody's room to pick up two things. One, you need a Jubilee field trip permission slip, and two, you need a poinsettia sales order form. These are due to be completed in the next couple of weeks, so please get yours ASAP. And go Lion! The sophomore class officers and representatives will meet in Miss Dawson's room 921 this afternoon. Are you Bama bound? High school students who are interested in attending the University of Alabama are invited to attend an ASAP presentation. It's October 24th, 2017 at 6 p.m. in the Fairhope Library. Representatives from the University of Alabama National Alumni Association, UA Early College, and regional recruiters will be on hand to review information regarding admission to the university and the scholarship application process. Brochures from financial aid services and residential housing will be distributed. Parents are welcome and encouraged to attend. Interested students should RSVP to Melissa Baggett at mlb4ua at gmail.com or Tommy Catlin at catlintw at golftail.com. Seniors that would like to ride in a float for homecoming must help decorate in Miss Cuddy's room 909 after school this Thursday. Good morning, Fall High School. This is Leo Watson and Garrett Mayo with your Lion Price Force and your morning edition of Vlogger Talk. Today is a special day because we got to go with us. He led us to a 27-26 victory against Murphy on October 6th. Uh, he had a great game, 244 passing yards, three touchdowns. Uh, today we're just here to get a few words from Garrett, um, speak his mind about how the game went. I know that the offense played really well, and I just want some opinions. What are some things that the offense did that you were really proud of that helped you out on the um, Offense was clicking on all faces. Uh, we were able to block, pass the ball, catch, do what we had to do. What did the defense do to help you all out in the first half? Our defense made stop after stop after stop. Uh, they were just, we could depend on the whole game. Yeah, uh, we were a solid team. Uh, what did Niblet say or what did Niblet do to bring us together before we started that game? Uh, he just really simplified everything for us. Uh, we look at everything like the forest, but we pick out the tree, which is the most important phase of the game. So it's, uh, he simplified it. Not too hard, not too easy, but, you know, simplifies it. Yeah, um, it was a great game, and uh, we're all really proud of you, man. I appreciate you coming on Market Talk today. Uh, you have a good day full of high school. Today for lunch, we'll be having a chicken sandwich, french fries, garden salad, fruit, cookie, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day. What that's all announcements we got for you today. Our shout outs go to Jackson Turner and Madison Miller. Don't forget that today is B Day. Have, have a, a great, great day, day full of high school. school.